M to M, music to music. There are times when we see a connection between two or more different things. For instance, you might watch two completely different movies and find that a scene from both is very similar. Hmm. Or you might find that two very different commercials are made with the same filming techniques. On Soundcase M2M, Music to Music, you can see that connection, that hidden link between different music and different artists. And in the studio with me, we have the reggae musician M. Tyson. Woo! What up, Rom? Hello, hello. Wow, it's I cannot good, believe good. it's really nice to meet you right here. Nice to meet you wow. too. Wow, so uh, it's my first time on M2M, uh -huh. Music to Music. Yep. Uh, can you just briefly tell me, like, what is this about? What is All right, this so about? this corner, M2M, is basically you find connection between songs or singers or right. from a certain theme right for, for instance when it's summertime people look for like you know like sexy yeah. funky, hyped yeah, up tempo yeah. songs right 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah so based on that I connect the hottest solo female musicians right. and talk about them and their music oh. or in summer you can also connect like reggae musics too you know Oh, so right, then I right. take that as a theme, like summer and oh. reggae party, and talk about reggae music, reggae artists. Mm. When it's like a holiday, like Thanksgiving, right. it gets easier because oh. it has that certain theme already. Right, right. All I got to do is just link up some songs right. and attach that. You know, to the like Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving theme. Oh, yeah. oh, well, that's a pretty awesome corner. I had no idea there was this time in corner. <laughs> Thanks, oh, man. wow. So I'm pretty sure you have like something prepared for us today. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So what do you what do you have prepared for so us today? So when season changes, yeah, the fashion changes, right? Right. And of the course. trend changes, and yes. people's emotion changes, yes, oh. and therefore the music changes. Right. Right. It's fall now, and we get. You know, like kind of sentimentalized. Yes. So, oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. we do. We do. Kind of sad. Especially know. guys. Yeah, I know. More sensitive <laughs> than girls. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, the tempo of the music slows down a little bit and mm. some changes from digital to acoustic sound. Right. And in uh, 2013 fall, the R&B is coming. Right. Oh, yeah. I love R&B. It's yeah. been a long time that R&B yes, was, you know, I in the scene. R &B. Yeah. So do you do you listen to R&B? I mean, like, um, I'm I'm pretty sure you do. But yes. um, like, is there any favorite R&B artists or music? Well, um, honestly, I listen to R&B. I'm not I'm not a very good R&B singer. Like, I don't. Oh, I can't do oh, that. Come on, C Clown is a good group. <laughs> it's a on. good group. Well, thank you so much. Um, I have a lot of R&B uh, musicians that I really I'm really into. Like, as a kid, I I listened to so much Usher oh. and everything. So like back to the old school, right, right, stuff. right. So yeah. yeah, more into the old school rather than yeah. New that, that was stuff. a golden era. The golden you era, gotta, definitely. Yeah, gotta, yeah, definitely. So can you can you take a guess like which artist or group is rooted in founder of Korean R and B? Korean R and B. Yeah. Wow, that that's because I know you're good. young. Yeah, <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but you look so young. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, that's a that's a very actually hard question because uh, uh since you say Korean R and B as well because um, I was born and raised yeah, in Australia yeah. and it's actually a hard question no I'm actually quite curious mm. uh, so um, let me tell you <laughs> yes please <laughs> yeah, tell me so Sotejo Aider yeah. and Deuce the new, yeah, new Jack Swing type of sound oh. in like early 1990s and, yeah. uh, but after that Group Solid came oh. out as an R&B vocal group and they made a smash hit with Iba me kutel japko. Iba me kutel japko. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if you know that song. No, I have. <laughs> no, I know. I heard of um. I heard of these groups, but um. Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure of the title of the songs, but uh, I know uh, Sotejo Idols come back home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a rap. Yeah, it's a rap. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that song was released in 1995, oh, okay. and you, when you was five years old. <laughs> oh my god! Of course, I mean, <laughs> and I was a teenager. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, okay. The member of the group was Kim Johan, Jung Jae Yoon, Lee Jun, and Kim Johan's nickname is R&B Daddy now because oh. like, he's a historical guy. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it pretty much started like that, and mm -hmm. ever since then, the whole R and B scene in Korea got really popular, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh wow, like that's I gotta do my research. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wow. wow. Yeah, so I think the R and B made a you know really big right big they take a big role in the right, scene, right. and I think it was like early two thousand. Oh, yeah, many okay. vocal groups were created, like you know, Soul Star, Seven oh, Days, oh, Soul Star, yeah, yes, Wanted, Big yes. Mama, and more groups, yes, Big Mama, or solo artists like Hee Sung, yes, Jung, oh, okay. oh yeah, <laughs> Im Jung Hee now was found. 
Yeah. However, the side effect was rhythm and blues was turning into like rhythm and ballad, which oh, means oh yeah, like yeah. I was wondering about that. So like when people ask me like what what does R and B mean? Like mm-hmm. is it usually a rhythm and ballad or rhythm and blues? It's supposed to be a rhythm and blues. But I knew what happened, it. Yeah, but yeah, but what happened was like you know they it was it was just like a promoter started to use that R and B that that word as a keyword of promotion. Oh. So even if, if it's like a ballad song, they just used it. Oh, this is R and B song. <laughs> that's that's why that's why it turns to like rhythm oh, and ballad. Oh, so okay. many fake R and B groups were made, and when this happened, yeah. um, the trend collapsed suddenly. Oh. So I say the trend of Korean rhythm and blues was right. short. Yes. But history of rhythm and ballad it's was kind of long. quite long. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like. I was, I'm kind of wondering as well because, um, as you know, there's a uh, mainstream and there's right. underground. Right. But like, what happened to the whole uh, Korean, um, Korean R and B scene? Like, mm-hmm. did it go from like um mainstream to underground, or like it it was a vice versa? Like, um, I'll say, well, they so the trend was kind of collapsed. Yeah. And they had to t- go into the like underground scene right oh right? okay like you boom young jin kept his style and now he explore again from the tv survival show right yeah and um there are many good r&b musicians in underground too like right Soul right Man, right all Soul Man, yes. 40, oh, 40. Bony, <laughs> yes i know rico all that Kim yes Ju, who came a mainstream artist now oh so now they mainstream yeah and good for him Kevin yes <laughs> of course yeah. obviously there are more good artists anyway these um people made great strides to tell the oh. truth um compared to hip-hop or rock scene r&b scene is not that big in a size wise right right right, right they right. develop their like themselves and the scene oh. in the like in silence but therefore now their skills are amazing oh. the sound style rhythm got real i really respect yeah, korean of course, r&b artists of course, of course. In, in this part yeah oh wow so like uh I'm pretty sure, like, you have, um, today's first artist in, like, oh, yeah. uh, well, is it, like, related to, like, R&B, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Today's, like, whole R&B time. Oh, I, right. <laughs> Maybe that's hip-hop. That's hip-hop. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, that's how bad I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> nice, cool. Oh, okay. So, today's first artist we're gonna meet is... Young Jun of Brown Eyed Soul. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually. It's not actually him coming in. Okay. Okay. I was <laughs> like, I was looking around. I was like, where's, where is Young Jun? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, but, uh, oh, but like, I'm actually a huge fan of Brown Eyed Soul. Oh yeah, of course. Um, and because they have just like, I have the, I like the really like the jazziness of his voice. Like, it's really mm. soulful. Oh yeah. And I actually, cause I love dancing. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, I made some choreos to uh, his song before, like um. To Brown Eyed Soul. Yeah, Brown Household, and you know, because I know they're like an extravagantly very famous R and B group in Korea at the moment, uh-huh. and they do like uh, promotions as a unit. So each of them I know like came out like as a solo promotion, yeah, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm actually a really big fan of those. I really want to see your choreography. Choreograph- <laughs> I'll definitely, I'll definitely show you. Here, uh, here wait, it's a bit, um, <laughs> a bit <good>. hard. <laughs> so anyway, right. um, yeah. So the brown member of the Brown Eyed Soul, right, right. is um Chong Yeop. Yes. Now, Young Jun and Song Hun, and as you said, they all did good with their solo albums. Right, right. Oh, how many um, how many albums did uh, Young Jun like, oh, release? He, he released one studio album in 2012. It's called Easy. Oh, Easy. So, yeah. like, was that like a similar style to the rest of the members, or is it a uh, what kind of style was that? Like, so when they get when they go together, they right. u- they usually do the you know those like a cappella thing, right, right, like, right, right. The harmony. Oh, but, uh, instead of that, like he stayed on the more on the like uh, neo soul and an oh, urban, urban, style. urban style. Love urban. Yeah. The title oh. song was Ijoyo. and oh. I don't know if you know that song, but I really I- recommend I- the song. Is it like a, is it a song I could dance to? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe we should oh, put yeah. it on. Show the... me your midi tune. Come on. <laughs> Maybe we should put it on right now and dance to it like oh, yeah. now. And, uh, sorry, they got the hip hop again. Um, oh wow. So um, so EJ. Okay, that's a, that's a song that you recommend, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what other what other three like for example, what other songs can you recommend? Can you like uh, tell me like three at least three oh, good okay. songs yeah. that you can? He recommend. did a song. Uh, say. Say. say you say me. Say you say. Yeah. Oh, that's say a, you say me. Yeah, say you song, say. Yeah. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Say you say me. <laughs> oh, that song with Lionel Richie. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god. It was a duet, and that one was for sure. And there is Supreme Team's Supreme song. Team. Yes. He featured. Could then, could then, could then. Oh. Yeah, okay. that's a song. <laughs> okay. I know. Oh, oh, did he? 
yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that song. Oh, oh the oh, chorus, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And that song, I just mentioned. Yes, I, you mentioned that and, one right now. one more song. Yep. Kotboda Kudega. Oh. That song is really nice too, featured by Simon D. Oh, right, yeah. Well, you know, when Simon D raps to a song, he only raps to very good R&B songs. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to... I think you're really into hip-hop <laughs> music. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's hard. It's like, hey, yo, <laughs> this is the hip-hop section. No, um, no I'm actually really into... Uh, I've been into hip-hop uh -huh. uh, because I rap on my team. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you know, besides the rapping that we do on C Clown, mm -hmm. I do like... Uh, like you know, solo stuff. When I do my free time, mm -hmm. I um I actually look up a lot of uh, southern beats, like a lot of southern beats, a lot of southern style hip hop. Right. Um, you know, nowadays uh, this whole trap trap oh, music yeah. is on is a, on a huge run. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, oh, okay, I'm I think right. I'm good at that. But um, wow. So I'm actually really curious about uh today's song. Like, what song are we going to listen to? Oh, today? so this, yeah. So this is a brand new single from Youngjun. And right. Today we're gonna listen to right Driving Road featuring Palo Alto. Oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, please explain this song to me because. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like Palo Alto. He's a hip hop <laughs> artist as well. Oh, yeah. He's a rapper as well. Yeah, he's like a very this. nice artist. Yes, yeah. yes. I like this guy. Please explain this. All right, so this song is from a project album called Clef Project uh, right. Series 2. This is the second project. And yes. Kang Kyun Song of Noel did the first one for this right. project. And in overall, this song is very refreshing and it's very rhythmical. Right. Rhythm guitar and the drum line keeps the funky pulse of the song oh, and nice. electronic ele elements added as a, as a accessory that's wow. giving sophist sophisticated vibe in the song. Nice. And Palo Alto featured in the song. Yeah. <laughs> his <laughs> low voice tone rap yeah, gave know, yeah. Yeah, chilling but energetic feel to the song. Nice. And I'm sure this song will heal you if you need a little break during the busy day. Oh, well, I'm gonna go listen to this song <laughs> right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I need a bit of healing. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. You heard it from the man in Okay, it is Driving Row by Youngjun featuring Palo Alto.